everyone, seven days, seven shots for the everyday player. I'm all about bringing tennis to the everyday player. So in an effort to help everyone, I'm doing a different stroke or a different shot every day this week. Today, it's all about the backhand. My mission is to get the everyday player playing as quick as possible. So I have devised a four-step process to each stroke that will make it easier and faster to get you playing tennis. The backhand, the everyday player is generally, generally using a two-handed backhand. So we're gonna focus on step one, the grip. So when you, the everyday player, use a two-handed backhand, you wanna place both hands on the racket, your not hitting hand over your hitting hand. The hitting hand is always on the bottom of the racket. It's really important that you go from your forehand grip, which is your ready position, to a backhand grip with your hitting hand. So here's my hitting hand, and we're gonna move from my forehand grip to the backhand grip, which is on the ridge of the racket. My knuckle is on the ridge of the racket going this way. If I was to hit the ball with my backhand like this, I'm using all elbow and hitting it the wrong way and could injure myself. So the best way to do this is have kind of a loose grip, relaxed, and when you go to hit the ball, simply shift your hitting hand up on the ridge of the racket. Step two, the prep to hit your backhand. In an effort to get everybody hitting as easy and as quick as possible, the first progression to the stroke after your grip is getting ready to hit the ball. Step two, turn, pivot and get your racket up, get, getting ready to hit the ball. What this does, this, this gets your shoulder turned here, your racket head is up, and what you've done is shift your grip at the same time you brought your racket back. So you're doing two things at once, watch. So you're in your ready position, and the ball is about to come to your backhand. You're going to prep and pivot and turn your grip. Prep and pivot and turn your grip all at the same time. This is really great because what you're gonna do is before you get to hit the ball, it's gonna create racket head speed when you drop your racket for step three. Step three now is the fun part. It's all about getting to hit the ball. So what we've done is we've gone from our ready position to, which is number one, to number two, which is the prep and pivot and changing the grip. Now, number three, we get to drop the racket head and step forward, make contact, and get ready to smack that ball. Let's go over it again. Ready position, one. Prep and pivot, two. Drop the racket head. Relax your wrists, step, and make contact right in front of your right leg. Number four the last of the progression is the follow through. All the progressions are important, equally important because one doesn't happen without the other. So we've already gone through our ready position. Number two is our prep and pivot and change the grip. Number three is our drop, getting ready to roll, making contact, we're here now. Now is the follow through. I wanna make sure that your chin is over your shoulder, the butt is hitting your opponent in the head, and you pause for the picture after your hit. So I'm gonna do the whole thing together. Now we're in our ready position. We see the ball coming to our backhand side. We're waiting primarily in a forehand grip. The ball comes to the backhand. I prep, pivot, change my grip. I drop the racket relax my wrist, make contact in front of my right leg, roll the shot right over my shoulder. I pause for the picture. My butt of the racket is hitting my opponent and I've hit a perfect backhand. 